Hey everyone, welcome to another stash report where we review the past and look to the future. This time around the sun, we're going to be looking back at May and forward to June and oh boy, some big happening in June. I actually got to look look it up, but uh, let's do what we do, how we do, and I can't type and talk at the same time. That's a new discovery, isn't it? Uh, Google, just tell me the just tell me, just tell me the release date. Anyway, we're gonna look back at. Am I older six than sixteen? Yes, I am. Thank you. This sounds very shady. You have no idea what I'm looking at. <laughs> oh my God! It's a splash screen. Key features. A new story. That's cool. Tell me the god dang release date. Looking. I'm looking. June twenty first. Okay. We have our objective. May. <laughs> <laughs> this is off the rails already. It's fine. Uh, May was a bit of a slow month. It had a lot of a lot of aspirations and ambitions, and then Mother Nature kicked my ass. So that was fun. Uh, weekly Fortnite show did come back, and then G went. It happened, I guess. Uh, last one was the twenty-four, number twenty-four, and that was like May eighteenth. Uh. Fortnite's one of those games I'm like, is the battle pass worth it? And this one I'm like, I don't know. The power armor from Fallout's pretty dope, but I'm not sure I'm into the whole Mad Max thing. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I want to like spend my time going through playing it. It's great. It's good for the most part, but like, uh, uh, this, there's other things and we'll get to that. Um, that, that, that came and went, so did weekly Overwatch show, boy howdy, I was excited, for, uh, I wasn't excited for the season, because <laughs> they really made no major changes that I need to continue playing it, uh, so that happened, that was like one episode, that was May 4th, and then, boop, you down, game sucks, that game, Overwatch 2, oh my god, that Marvel game, Marvel Rivals, I know it's not gonna be on, like, console right off the bat, I think they said they're gonna be porting it to console shortly after release. That game needs to get here fast and be good. And that, that really needs to get here really fast and really be really good. Um, another Crab's Treasure. We got a couple episodes. I, I do, I do dig that game. I'm vibing with it, but it's it's also like there's a lot, man. There's a lot, man. Again, nature kicked my ass. I got a I got a really bad head cold actually. Uh, around Senua's, Senua's Saga. Hellblade 2, because they couldn't call it Hellblade 2 Senua Saga. God forbid. Ain't no way their Ninja Theory was going to do that. Uh, that came out, and I sat down and recorded that. I thought I was over my head cold. Oh, mon frere. No, that was... I was I was not even at the apex of it. So, yeah. Uh, that was a shorter video just because of that. And I've had no real desire or ambition to record. So there's that. And again, another Crab's Treasure is a Souls-like. It doesn't really tell you what you have to do. Like there's no, I can't open like the main menu and be like, what's my quest? It's a Souls-like. That's just not gonna happen. So it, ta it does take a little bit to get back into once I do sit down and record, be like, where am I going? What's happening? Again, I've, I'm digging it, I dig it, but it is one of those games. Um, we did start uh, DBZ Kakarot. That was an emotional one. That was definitely an emotional one. Um, but on the other side of the emotions, uh, from sadness and grief to joy, joyous to joys, I actually got through hunting achievements in Resident Evil 4. My journey to complete 100% every achievement in every modern Resident Evil from 7 to uh, the 4 remake is achieved. We are a week, I believe Summer Game Fest is like a week away? I think it's the 9th? Um, Summer Game Fest, thank you, not 5 seconds of summer. Are they still a thing? Don't know. So, June 7th. So we are literally six days away from from Summer Games Fest, where I'm going to predict, or I'm going to anticipate, the next Resident Evil game being announced. Maybe, fingers crossed. We'll see. Uh, but we're done. We're done, that. Whew, done with that one. We can focus on other achievement videos, like Borderlands, and get through that one. 
Uh, cause I have stuff planned. I have stuff planned after if we get through that. God, that's gonna be long. That's a that's a long one. Um, we did that as a time. I was gonna say it was a fun time. It was a time. It was a time. It was a bit, a bit, a bit of a pain in the butt going through RE4 and getting some of the achievements, but we did it. Uh, Hellblade three, Hellblade two. God damn it, Sen Senwa's Saga. Hellblade two. Again, they couldn't be simple. Uh, it started off pretty good. Again, I haven't recorded anything since because head cold sucks. Uh, but it's good. Yeah, that went pretty well. The, the, the Northmen, the North, the Northmen are dicks. That's the summary I can give. That's why the, t the first episode is called it. Uh, and then the re the most recent videos that have come out, X Defiant actually released. Super happy about that. Playing that a hell of a lot. Playing more than anything. So that's, uh, that's really fun. I'm hoping, like, the rumors and innuendo and leaks from Insider are saying, like, yeah, X Defiance really got Actabliz really scared for Black Ops 6, which I'm, I'm optimistic about. It's Treyarch, but I don't think Vondahar is there anymore, so, uh, uh maybe. But apparently Treyarch is solely focusing on the multiplayer and the zombies, and I think Raven Software is the story, which is fine. That's fine. As long as the multiplayer is good, then I'll play it a lot. But the fact that X Defiant is doing so incredibly well and breaking records, like in two and a half hours, I think it was they had one million players. That's the fastest Ubisoft title to hit that mark ever. And as of the recording, the seven uh, day anniversary, the week, week anniversary. It's already got over 8 million unique players, like, unique individuals playing the game. I think at one point it had, like, 700,000 concurrent players across all platforms. It's doing numbers because it's good. It's really great, and hopefully it influences Actabliz to make COD better. That would be fantastic. And now I'm hoping Marvel Rivals, when it releases, is on the X Defiant level. So it can kind of push Actabliz even closer to the edge. Maybe not making them jump, but making them go, oh, we have to make we actually have to listen to the fans that are playing Overwatch 2 and make it better. Yeah, I'm hoping. That's the I hope with the highest of hopes. That's um That's what I'm hoping, right? That's what I'm hoping. X Defiant is really good. Uh that was May. That was gonna That was May, yeah. That was May. June. God, we're halfway through the year already. Holy shit. Um, I think it's time for a little bit of a schedule change, right? I tried uploading every day of the week, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday videos. It's a bit much. I do like the schedule that I have over on the other channel, Kill by Daylight, which is Dead by Daylight. Hey, there's an anniversary coming up. New chapter's releasing. And two days from this going up. Um, it's big. It's Dungeons and Dragons. It, Dungeons and Dragons. You got it. Head cold. It knows what to say when I don't. Dungeons and Dragons. Vecna is is coming to Dead by Daylight. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. And the reports and rumors and speculation that my boy, Mama Voorhees's baby boy, Jason Voorhees, is gonna happen eventually now. Cause that stuff. Oh, it's a great time to be a Dead by Daylight fan. So go over and check that channel. If you don't, that's fine but uh, I would recommend you do this is gonna be f it's fun it's a good time go watch it <laughs> um, the schedule over there if you don't know is Monday Wednesday Friday one video that's it boom hour like three hours of content a week if there's something weird and wild and wacky happening like a, a random breaking news thing like uh, when they announce like a special s guest character coming in, like a licensed chapter coming in, like they did with The Ring and Sadako coming into the game. They just r randomly dropped the trailer on a Tuesday, and it's like, well, I guess that's the video I'm going to be putting up today. So, for the most part, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Sometimes there's other thrown in there, right? I think I want to do that with this channel for a little bit, right? For the, for the time being, just going forward, now, so I'm not like, oh my god, my head is so clouded, I'm sneezing and coughing on camera, I gotta go through and edit all that out. Right, sneezing is fine. That's fine. Like, oh, ha choo ha <laughs> I sneezed, my head hurts now. Okay, haha, but me, me, me coughing like, again, dead by dead, like the clown going, 
You don't want to fucking hear that. I don't want to hear that. I'm doing it. So I think I think we're gonna cut down to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right? Saturday, and Sunday videos are gonna be X Defiant. Uh, if I get back into Fortnite, it's gonna be Fortnite. If Overwatch, if that if that team decides to pull their heads out of uh, the ghost of Bobby Kotick's ass, then we'll get back into that. But that'll be like the random videos, right? Like, haha, X Defiant. Fortnite, maybe Overwatch 2, Borderlands, Achievement Hunting. The random stuff, right? Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I think going forward, we're gonna look to nail down definitely Senua. Definitely get through that. I don't know if there is a how long to beat doing this live. I have none of this scripted. I just started rolling. I'm like, fuck it, let's go. That's not how you spell blade. That's how you spell bald with an E at the end. Fucking weirdo. Senua's Saga Hellblade 2 is only six and a half hours. That's it? <laughs> Am I already a sixth of the way through the game? <laughs> That's wild to think about. Uh. Yeah, main story is six and a half. Main and extras is seven and a half. Completion is eight and a half. Ooh, I, I always judge by like halfway through the medium the median and the rush time because we're not doing like a leisurely playthrough we're playing it to get through the story and to, to get to the good bits right I'm not just meandering around unless I get stuck in a puzzle then it's oops I'm dumb um if I was to go like okay the medium is six and a half the rush is about five and a half so probably about six a little a little over six hours Okay, that's a lot shorter than I thought. Let's, uh, another crab. Another crab shows only 13 and a half. So I, mm, the soul's like though, so. Time, times may vary on that. Wow, the main story is 13, but the main plus sides is 19. Good Lord. Uh, Rush is nine and a half, Minion is 13, so probably 11, 12 hours. That's not too bad. Uh, I think those are the two games I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be hardlining, right? Probably two Senua, one Crab, or maybe one Crab, two Senua. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that'll, that's probably the schedule going forward, right? For at least June until a very specific uh, thing happens. I'm just checking. Can you work? Yo, fucking. There we go. Yeah, Kakarot's thirty and a half hours. Yeah, we'll get to that eventually. <laughs> Woof. Hey, just quick uh, check Borderlands, which I think. Yeah, it's 22 and a half. Uh, what's with the completionist? Oh, 63 hours. No, I'm fine. I'm not going to have a mental breakdown trying to get every achievement in that game. It's fine, I swear. Um, People are speculating Borderlands 4 might get announced at Summer Games Fest or over that, that week. I'm. Uh, I don't know about that one, Chiefers. I really don't know about that one. Like, yeah, the Borderlands logo appears on, like, the IGN rundown. I think it's IGN Fest. That might be for the movie. So, and I'm tentative on that one at very best. So, I'll... I don't think they would announce it at Summer Games Fest. I don't know. Uh, is RTX still a thing now that Rooster Teeth is shut down? Because WBD and David Zaslav is fucking idiotic. Um, thanks for crushing my childhood fucking... Favorites again, David, you fuckhead. Um, but yeah, I think uh, Hellblade to Crab Treasure. If we do Hellblade Crab Treasure DBZ, could do that one video a week. Uh, this, uh, you all know what I'm referencing, right? You have to, you have to know. You have to look at the channel and be like, oh, look at the Miyazaki games he's played. You have to know that June 21st, everything is thrown out the fucking window for Shadow of the Erd Tree. You have, you have to know this. If you've paid attention to my channel at all, I'm curious. Uh, let me go to playlists. Doing this fucking lot of Dark Souls. Just type in Dark Souls. Uh, Dark Souls 1, yep, Dark Souls 2, Scarlet the First Sin, got that. Dark Souls 3, ah, Souls, uh, Dark Souls 3 Redux. And then Dark Souls Remastered. 5, alright, uh, <laughs> Elden Ring. Oh, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those, so we're up to 9, no, we're up to 10, aren't we? Dark Souls had 5 as well? 
zone compromised. Text notes? Yeah, no. The entire trilogy of Dark Souls had five separate playthroughs. Elden Ring alone has five. Uh, Sekiro. That had one playthrough because that game was ass. Bloodburn! Bloodborn. I said Bloodburn and typed Bloodburn. That's fun. That had one playthrough. So, Miyazaki has 12 playthrough, play playlists on this channel. Do you, do you better fucking know that June 21st, it's Elden Ring. That's what this channel is going to be. It is Elden Ring. Shadow of the Earth Tree. It is a full-fledged... I think it's just a new game, right? Uh, Pre-order now? What are we looking at, bud? I think it's like a $60 DLC. I hit pre-order now, it brought me to a pre-order now thing. Like, what the fuck? My age? You don't know- you don't need to know that. But I'll tell you anyway. Choose one, my addition? Uh, what do we- what the fuck do you get from the other ones? Art book and soundtrack? Puh. Uh... We'll, we'll go with the normal one. My preferred platform? You know it. Choose my store? I know, I could've just gone to fucking xbox.com. I know that, I wanted you to do it for me. 40 bucks, a $40 DLC. Yeah, most DLCs are about half of that, if, a, if not a quarter of that. So, that feels like it's just gonna be a brand new 20 hour game. And I am here for it. So, all roads lead to that game. All roads lead to Shadow of the Earth Tree. Yeah, so I, that's why I'm like, I don't know about the scheduling, I don't know. Cause I definitely want to go to a new schedule of three videos a week instead of like the trying to get out five plus the weekend ones. Um, if Hellblade is really like six and a half hours. That, uh... I'm looking on IGN. Camo. Looking on IGN. So we already passed the first, like, quote-unquote chapter. Yeah, we got five, five chapters to go, and if they're all, like, 45-ish minutes, then yeah. We're gonna get through that in, uh, pretty much no time. So I think, uh... Yeah, I think we'll do, like, Hellblade Monday, Hellblade, Hellblade... Uh, Hellblade Monday, Hellblade Friday, and Wednesday will be another crab treasure, and then once Hellblade is done, uh, if we're done before Erd Tree, then I'll probably just go three videos of another crab treasure a week, try to get bang that one out, and then Shadow the Erd Tree. All be praised. So we'll see. We'll see. Of course, like I said. Saturday and Sundays aren't changing. X Defiant, Fortnite Show, uh, pff, uh, Overwatch maybe, maybe Fortnite Show, maybe Fortnite Show, maybe Overwatch Show. Definitely X Defiant. <laughs> it's definitely X Defiant. Definitely. Um, but probably X Defiant and Borderlands, probably. So that is. That's the that's the plan. That's the plan. I've been rambling for 20 minutes. Oh no, I have to record background footage. What should I play? X Defiant for 20 minutes? Oh no, woe is me. I'm gonna fucking do it anyway, so might as well record it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the going on. Hopefully this head cold clears up soon. Um, and we'll see how the, how the schedule goes. See how that goes, how that works for me personally, and then... Yeah, it's gonna suck when we get to like big RPGs and shit like that, right? Like, Kakarot alone is 30 hours. That's a lot to do. Um, we'll see. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to do it like Go By Daylight, which, hey, link is in the basement. Go check it out. Go subscribe. Spread the word. Great things are coming to that channel. Uh, and that will probably bleed over to this channel, by the way. Certain things that I have in the works aren't just videos. They will be bleeding over, kind of, eventually. Um, 
Yeah, like I said, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on that channel, and then if there's something weird and wacky and wild that pops up, then that's like uh, Tuesday or Thursday. So maybe there's one week where it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Maybe there's a week where Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then there's a random fucking one shot or, or, or something on like Tuesday or Thursday. I don't know. We'll see. The video length won't change. The video lengths probably won't change. Aim for an hour. If we hit it, great. If we got like 45 minutes, still great. So that's the plan. So for now, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the gameplay in the background, I guess. Yeah, we'll say that. Uh, and you're looking forward to this new schedule and things to come. Our Elden Ring and the Erd Tree. Super kick the like button. Check out my channel for more videos I've done. Like see, hit subscribe. And until next time, bye. I can't condone it, but I get it. Capture zone contested. Capture zone is moving. Sending new location to your offsite now. We're on for taking feedback capture zone. We're locking down the zone. Zone contested. We're locking down the zone. The zone is changing location. The zone's in danger. Agent activated sonar goggles. We're on the zone. Down the zone. Heads up. 
I'm detecting our sonar tech in enemy hands. Throwing frag! Capture zone move. Mission accomplished. 